Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Right, today I'm going to be doing a octopus. I haven't done one for a while. So my first step is to pop in some eyes. I've got these little tiny 6mm eyes here. So these are the ones that have got slits on the front. So I've marked the back side of them to tell me how the slits go. So when I put them in the octopus, they're going to be facing the right way. So I'm just going to have a look and see how the eyes would go. So I reckon... them sideways okay so pop a little bit of UV resin in to put the eyeballs in just a little dot on each one okay I might have put a bit much in there actually I'll just take some out Okay, let's pop these eyes in. One, two. Now I just need to straighten them up. So I'm going to have the eyes going that way, I think. We get my little torch and just start it with the torch and finish it with my lamp. So that's just UV resin I'm using in this. So I'm going to be doing the hairspray technique again on um, this octopus. I did one a couple of months back, or quite a few months now actually, and um, it was quite successful. It's moved a little bit. Um, it was quite successful, really, really looked good. So, um, but I'm going to do two times this time. I'm going to do tentacles one color, and the body another color, and just try and blend them together. All right, I'm just going to pop this now under my lamp. And finish those off. So these are the two colors. Oops. Oh dear. I'll clean them up in a minute. These are the two colours here. So the chameleon, this is a purple green shift, this is a purple blue shift. I'm running out of space in my table. That's why I've still got this little turtle sitting here that I've just done. Okay, flip them over and do the other side. I've actually put those eyes around the wrong way. So I'm just going to pop them out. They've got UV resin on them. And pop a bit more in. So they now look bigger than 6mm. They're more like 8. Tiny bit in each one. And I'm just going to turn them around. I thought I had that the correct way around, but obviously not. So, what did I say? I don't want to go that way. That's the way I want it. Try to get that straight. <sighs> All right. They sort of sit on the side of the face rather than not front on, so I'm just going to sort of jiggle them around a bit. Okay. Let's quickly do that now.
Right, they are done. So these are the colours, like I said, that one there and that one. So I think we'll do, what should I do the body in? I think I'll do the head in this green, greeny purple colour and the tentacles in the blue. Hmm, no, I think I'll do purple in the head. So that's number four. So let's do inside the head first. So this is chameleon powder. Uh, just get it from Timo. A little bit goes a long way. So of course, when you put this chameleon powder on, as soon as it touches the um, silicon, it's going nowhere, it's just going to stay put. So wherever it touches, um, that's the colour that's going to show up first. So I could put another chameleon powder over top of this and you wouldn't see it. It's whatever touches it first, it sticks really well to silicon. If that makes any sense. So, I've put too much in there, but that's okay, I'm just going to leave it in the bottom. So now I'm going to just bring a little bit up into the face. Around the eyes. I'm just going to run a little skinny line into each tentacle. You know what I've forgotten? I said I told you I was going to do a hairspray frog, didn't I? I forgot to do the hairspray. So this is not going to be a hairspray frog. This is just a uh, frog octopus. This is just going to be a chameleon, two-tone chameleon octopus. It's too late to do the hairspray now. If you want to see what the hairspray technique is, I do have a video. It's a frog with the hairspray technique, two frogs, and there's also um, the octopus. The octopus, I think, was the first one I did, and then I did some frogs with the hairspray technique. So if you wanna, if you don't know what that is, check those videos out. Just go to my resin craft playlist, and <clears throat> you'll find it there. Okay, so I've probably done enough into each tentacle. Right, clean my brush off. Ooh, stuff makes a mess everywhere. Right, clean my brush off on a cloth or on your pants. <clears throat> and this is the greeny purple. And this is going to go everywhere else. So it doesn't matter if I touch down in here where I've already done because this colour is only going to go where there is bare silicon mould. Probably didn't explain that very well.
I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I can already see greens and purples all changing colour as I move it around. The camera might not pick that up. Okay, two more. Usually I just go a bit um, slower than this and not make such a mess, but I've actually got to be somewhere else and I need to get going, but I want to do this first, so I'm just rushing a little bit. Right, that is all done. Just checking, make sure I've got every little bit. Cool. Now, I'm just going to shake out any excess, and there's quite a bit in there because I used way too much. I'm just going to try and brush out as much excess as I can. It will float to the top, but that's, and that's okay. So to make these chameleon colours pop, I've got to fill that octopus with black. Right, let me just clean up my mess and I'll be back with some resin. Two ticks. Right, I have 90 mils of epoxy there to mix up. I'm going to use my trusty little stirrer. So the epoxy I'm using for this one, I've run out of my other craft resin, so I'm going to be using this. Epoxy doming resin, it's a um, 2 to 1, so 30 mils of A and um, is that A or B? Yeah, so 30 mils of the hardener and 60 mils of the base, that gives me 90 mils. And stir that up. Hey, that's that's really stirred well. Um, the only trouble with these cups, they have a lip on the bottom, so a resin tends to get stuck in that little lip. So you really have to get your mixer right down in there to get it all out. Sometimes I turn it off and just give, give it a little stir, just, to, just the tip of it, just to get into that gap. And make sure it's completely. Um, mix and I run this up and down the sides as well to scrape the sides but really good for not getting bubbles I've actually got a few bubbles in this one because I mucked around with it too much but normally it's um it's really good so I'm going to color this black just a little bit of black about that much will do And that's just epoxy resin pigment that I get from Timu. So let's stir this up again. Not very opaque. I might just finish stirring it with a spatula. Just pop this on the mould for now. Yes, it's a little bit transparent actually. 
Well, I've put quite a bit of pigment in that, so it should be mixed well, but maybe I just need to stir it a bit longer. There might be little bits in there that'll help out. Okay, I think that'll do. Um, anybody else use these? And what do you think? I've only just started using it. Um, I like using it because there's less bubbles, but it takes a long time to actually get it um, mixed thoroughly. And yeah, you've still got to scrape the sides and the bottom. So, yeah, I don't know. That's good. But I don't think it's a... Um, a wonder thing you know I think it's that great it's good I don't know let me know you guys use one of these do you like them or do you uh, just do it by hand okay well, let's pour this in so I can feel it warming up So 90 mils is too much for this. This is 75 mils, this octopus. Um, so I'll find something else to put it, the rest of the black in. Just about found its way to the hands. Let's give it a helping hand. Alright, a tiny bit to top up. It looks pretty full to me. What have we got left? Should have 15 mils. Yep, we got that. Okay, I'll find something that will take 15 mils. Actually, I can top up that turtle because I spilt some out of that turtle before. Right, I'll just spray this with alcohol. And we will see you at the demold. Back soon. chat looks like Bendy still, it's okay, be in the back. Ready? Oh yeah, that's that's neat. Purple and blue there, running down purple to the green here. The eyes. <laughs> They're right. Okay. Yeah, what you guys think of that one? Nice and simple, isn't he? Beautiful colour.
let me know in the comments what you think just a nice simple little octopus just two different um chameleon powders blending into each other okay guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.